Well, hey, it's time for another Squint 180. It's been a couple weeks. Um, so I want to share as we are now heading into our, to Thanksgiving and we're past the elections. Yay. So done with all the commercials. So in thinking about that, I am just thinking about our culture and how divisive things seem to be. I talked a little bit about that in the last podcast. And so heading towards Thanksgiving, what I'm calling on for people is that we will enter Thanksgiving being thankful, but that we'll have a, a oneness about us uh, with our families, with our friends, with the people that we work with, the people that we go to church with. So let me just share this closing passage out of 2 Corinthians uh, in which the Apostle Paul is writing to a church that was splintered, it was fractured, it was divisive. He actually had to, as an apostle, he had to scold them and discipline them and, and really had to lean into them quite hardly. But he also shared his great desire for them to, um, to come out of this with growth and ex great expectation. In fact, let me just now read the words that Paul writes to this divisive church that needed discipline. These are his closing words in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 and 12. Dear brothers and sisters, I close my letter with these last words. Be joyful, grow to maturity, encourage each other, live in harmony and peace, then the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet each other with Christian love. And so his words are my words. Be, uh, be joyful, be happy, be glad, rejoice. Uh, that comes out of having, I think, a, just a positive attitude. So as you enter Thanksgiving, be positive about life. Uh, grow into maturity. Uh, we all need to have some growth in our life. I hope that we're that that you and 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 anybody that listens to this podcast. It's what I desire in myself is to be a lifelong learner and one who's always growing, always listening, always reading, um, and always trying to apply and and develop even more. I'm just I just don't want to be the same me that I was yesterday. I want to grow and become more of what God wants me to be. So uh, grow into maturity. Encourage each other. You know, life is all about just, uh, there, there's that positive element again, about being an encouragement, lifting other people up. There's all sorts of people who want to tear you down. Let's spend time lifting people up. Living in harmony and peace. That mean, that word harmony there is actually of one mind, uh, more like being united, being of one mind together and enjoying that peace, that tranquility that God gives to us. And so those are great words that, uh, that I share with you from the Apostle Paul uh, going into Thanksgiving. Be joyful, grow to maturity, encourage each other, live in harmony and peace. And then I just love this closing. He says, greet each other. It says in the NLT, with Christian love. But the word is actually greet each other with a holy kiss. And it's literally a kiss. And the culture was, uh, and the word holy means hagias, which means set apart. And so the idea was you would greet each other with a kiss designed to to um, for other believers and uh, in our culture I think we maybe replace that uh, with a hug or maybe a handshake so uh, however that works greet one another showing affection the affections of Christ in your heart for them this Thanksgiving so um, one more time be joyful grow into maturity encourage one another be of one mind enjoy God's peace and greet each other with that holy kiss that hug or Christian love. Happy Thanksgiving. I pray this is a blessing to you, and we'll catch up with you next week.